All right, guys, I'm just pulling into work here on this beautiful Christmas morning. So we are, uh, yeah, it's the holiday time. It's just around the corner. But of course, somebody has to be here at the station. And it's actually the most common time for fires to happen is around the winter time, especially like in colder states when, you know, you have your heater, your furnace going. A lot of heat is getting produced, electricity is getting used up. It seems like a lot of fires happen in the winter time, even though like you think fire cold, you just don't think fire on like on on very cold days but it is the most common time of the year anyway i haven't cleaned off our attic trailer super muddy and then also also the toyota land cruiser is super muddy too so when we went out to that crazy secluded that was so so like the most secluded place i've been to let alone responded to a fire so it happened to be like one of the most insane calls i've been to and thank goodness we got this land cruiser because this saved us we would not have been able to get up there but this morning it, it i don't think we're gonna it's we won't be having any forest fires that's for sure but at least around here it's pretty foggy uh it rained last night so everything's pretty damp and so that's good hopefully we won't have to use this for a bit and then it dumped it dumped like a foot and a half two feet of snow in uh the sierra, the sierra nevada region just north of us like northeast from where we are in central california and so there we go clean her off but there's been uh there's been a lot of calls a lot of chatter we've been just kind of monitoring that storm it didn't really dump too hard here in terms of like rain but northeast of here you can actually see the mountains if you see if you okay it's really hard to see but there's a mountain range that's the sierra nevada that goes all the way north all the way over there so they got dumped on which is really cool because sometimes as a as a as a crew in the past we've headed up there done some snowboarding and skiing which is super fun and then also snowmobile as well but none of that today i am going to be on call i'll just put this back i'm going to keep this set up outside there's just no way to uh have it on the inside especially with our fire engines being in there so attic trailer is all pearly pearly red very nice red i love the color love the setup it just looks so cool going down the road. One thing I did add after our trip is the is the jack stand uh, that I put on there. I don't know why I didn't have it on there, but it would have came in handy one time. We had to change the tire on our way back. Wasn't a big deal. Uh, we actually just used the stump, rode right up on a stump, and then was able to change the tire out. So not too bad. But guys, this thing is lifted. It has 38-inch tires on it. Sorry, take that back. It has 35s, but it, it is lifted. Look, at I can't even I had to work on the engine. I need a big old step stool. So pretty crazy. And then it hauls the attic like a beast. Super nice. We have like an 8-inch drop on it right there. So it like it runs level. But the attic is pretty lifted too. Great, great clearance for when we have to go either through snow or like really really rough terrain so if you guys enjoy our fire episodes please hit the like button of course i and hopefully everybody's having good holidays here around christmas time so hopefully you guys are having a good christmas and all that please hit the like button of course and we are going to hang out at the station i got a few more things make sure all our tanks are full there we go i love that picture that's a bolt when he first became a firefighter and after his first call when he got back he, he was full decked out had everything on then he was doing the the superman stance so that was pretty cool anyway guys we're gonna hang out here it shouldn't be a busy day um unless there's some i i would say if i had to, it would either be a residence house fire today or something with the snow i have no idea maybe i don't know so we're gonna hang out here guys and maybe shoot some hoops and i'll see you guys later dang it the alarm just went off i was gonna watch some netflix come on all right let's go let's go i don't know what it is i just gotta jump in all right guys doesn't look good it looks like it's gonna be in sierra nevada it's gonna i think we're the second closest there so we have to respond there we go we're heading out i'm gonna be taking the land cruiser it sounds like okay we're getting more information i can see in my land cruiser all right it doesn't look good another secluded house all right we are the only unit Th this unit that we have the land cruiser toyota in the attic is the only uh only unit closest to this so we are going to be first responders probably first ones there so we're going to be heading up north on the interstate here start flying all right it sounds to be a vacation home in the black mountain montana like peak so it's called a black mountain uh range or just the section of it i believe that's what it called anyway we're heading up north you guys see right in front of us those are the mountains it's going to be an hour i could maybe make it in an hour and 20 minutes usually it's a, usually it's an hour 45 but if we get moving the problem is snow so it's gonna it's gonna slow us down getting up there once we get up to the snow in the elevation we're gonna be able to fly here on the here let me let me light it up here as we go through from these intersections 
there we go but it sounds like it's a vacation home in the mountain range they were having christmas with their family and it sounds like the furnace or the wood stove i don't know what the heating source is anyway the house is on fire it's uh localized they're fighting it right now but they said it's just about to get out of control so if we can get there and they can start suppressing it that would help out a bunch all right i think this is my Yep, this is it. This is my exit. All right, now we're off the interstate from here. It's going to be pretty nice highways, but once we get up there, guys, I don't know if it's going to be plowed or what. I don't know how they got up there. It sounds like they said it's really secluded. It's it's going to take some time. So they're fighting it right now. They're, they're said they're just shoveling snow on it right now. So I think it was a wood stove. Yep, it looks like it's a wood stove on my computer. So that just caught on fire. All right, guys, I will see you once we get up there closer. All right, guys, we just made it into this little region, this little town. I think the town is called Black Mountain, and that's where the address was coming up. Anyway, I don't really have an address. I just know uh, I've been in this region before, some close. I haven't been here, but I, I know roughly where it's at, and then I have other units responding too. All right, is it this? Okay, I'm just going to take these paths up. I'm going to be on the phone with the... Uh, with the with the family they said that it's out of control they can't stop it anymore they can't contain it anymore they're they actually a few of them left a few of them got too much uh smoke inhaled and they are going to going down to the hospital so it's not okay it is it is pretty hard here with the snow we're sinking in it's pretty deep it is about a foot and a half where we're at but boys the land cruiser is flying through it and the attic really really good grip there uh the tires are nice but <laughs> it's not easy pulling through here it's pretty rough. We just got to maintain some speed. And then it's going to be way back. Okay, let me just turn my sirens off. I don't need them. There's, there's nobody in here. And it looks like I don't even... There's no tracks up here. So I'm not even following tracks. And those guys must have been up there before the big snow. So that's pretty crazy that I'm the first one coming up here. First responder. All right, guys. The Land Cruiser is moving. The attic is... I'm surprised we haven't had something come off or axle break loose or tire go flying. But we are... I just need to maintain speed. I'm still cruising up here. All right. This is pretty steep right here. Push, 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 push. Oh, no. We're spinning. We're spinning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Carry through it. All right. We regripped. Is this literally the path? What is this? There's okay. I am not on the right path. All right, looking on the map field here, they're in the middle ridge area, somewhere around here. And then okay, I can make this, but this red terrain, this red line means it's the toughest terrain. I don't think they go up this. Or okay, come on, baby. A little nervous. I might have to drop the attic back, but then all my supplies are gonna be gone. Not gonna be worthless. All right, we can do this. What is this street? All right, go around it. That probably I should have went left. No, it's good. All right, this thing is literally a snowmobile, snowmobile on wheels. Come on, baby, push it, push it, speed. Oh no, we're slipping. Why do we always slip? There we go. Why? Well, know why we slip? All right, we need to get some speed. This is no joke. This is crazy. Push, push, push. No, come on, come on. Don't slip on me now. I still got. There we go. We got traction. Straight away, straight away. All right, that is so steep. No, come on. We're slipping. Come on, come on. There we go. Dude, this thing just rips. It pulls like a beast. I probably should have put some tire chains on, but I am just in such... Is this the road? Where's the road? All right, I'm back on track. We're actually getting pretty, pretty close. Not, not too far. I think it's right up here. Guys, this is way crazier than what we just respond to. We're literally getting more extreme as our calls go on. All right, here's a structure up here. Some sort of building. All right, I see some smoke. There we go. I see some smoke. There it is. There it is. All right, we're super close. There we go. There's the fire. All right, that thing is... Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything. I'm going to try. I only have so much water. I'm going to try to do something. All right, look at it. This is huge... Oh, my goodness. They have so... This is a big family here. Hopefully everybody's accounted for. We're gonna have to go in there and make sure everybody's accounted for. What last thing I heard is everybody is out safe, but we need to make sure. All right, let me get my stuff on here. All right, I got my hose. I only have so much water that I bring in that trailer that it can actually hold. All right, let me walk around here. All right, looks like it's spread up into the second floor or second story. All right, let's take it out here. I don't know where that furnace is, where that stove furnace is. I. It could be. I don't think there's a downstairs. 
All right, let's start fighting this. I might actually step out real quick. There's just too much smoke. All right, let's fight it up top. It's a tin roof that helps. So it doesn't look like the roof is fully made out of of, uh, of wood, so the tin is gonna help. But I'm not getting up on there. All right, there we go. Keep fighting it, boys. Yeah, it looks like the it's melted a lot of the snow around the structure. I think they're shoveling a lot in there too. It's already pretty pretty soaked in here. There we go. Keep fighting it. It's kind of like there's something behind this wall. No. All right, it looks like maybe... Okay, there's no basement. They told me there's no basement. I'm trying to think where that stove is. Let's step around here. I only got so much hose left. All right, there we go. All right, let's get over here. Punch through some of these windows. All right, I think I found the source. It's somewhere in here. We just need to keep fighting it. There we go. Just shoot it through the window. Perfect. All right, the oven looks like it's caught on fire. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's the ceiling. Is about to cave in there. I'm not going to go back inside. It's just too engulfed. But it is going down. We suppressed the living room. And then now we're in the kitchen. First floor. Alright, there is just... There's so much smoke coming out underneath that door. There we go. I'm going to sit over here for a bit. Shoot through these windows. Try and just compile all my energy right into this part of the house. This is not a good way to spend your Christmas vacation. That's for sure. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. And it looks like they all went down to the hospital. They thought the house was going to be done, but I'm going to try and save it for them. This looks like it's their vacation house. Paint's already coming off the side, but... Yeah, the setting's starting to warp, starting to peel off. We also... We don't want that fire to spread to, to the... Oh my god, there's so much wood right here. This would literally be throwing a match into, like, a gasoline bottle. That is... Oh my goodness. Okay, let's... I'm going to stay over here, make sure it doesn't spread... I don't know what part of the house this is, but anyway, I can't get it spread to that firewood bundle. All right, looks like it's getting... We're, we're fighting it. It is for sure going down. The living room is almost completely out, and then I was working on the kitchen. That looks a lot better, but I'm just so worried to step foot in the house now after seeing above the kitchen ceiling. Looks like it's about to just collapse any minute, so I'm going to keep fighting in here, and then we'll get up to the second story. All right, I got up on the roof. This part of the house, I checked it. This roof is pretty strong, so I'm going to shoot through these windows here. All right, this is where it's mostly coming from. There we go. Keep fighting. Come on, baby. All right, there we go. We're doing some work now. This is Okay, it looks like we found the source, at least the, where the primary fire is. So if we can get this out, I feel like it's really going to start to lean our way here. All right, there we go. It's calmed down. I've been fighting this for about 15 minutes, and I'm just about to run out of water. So we're going to see, hopefully I don't, I kind of want to go back in here. Let me turn it off real quick. I want to go back side in the living room, make sure I got everything completely soaked. All right. I only have so much water. The pressure is starting to die out here, but we'll just keep soaking this when we can. All right. The water's really decreasing. All right. I'm out of water. Let me go put the hose back, guys. We saved this house. They're all at the local hospital. It's actually not that local. It's a pretty far drive. It was still like a 30 minute drive. All right, there we go. Put the hose in. But we are going to at least save the house somewhat of the structure. Now, obviously, they're going to have to totally redo it all and probably strip it down to the bones, especially upstairs. But still, it's still here. So if they want to do this, um, they can kind of save this house because this is a pretty nice lot they have here. They said they purchased it and yeah, pretty crazy that they own this right here. So anyway, there we are. I think we're set. Look, they got snowmobiles, campers. They got plows on them too. Okay, so they have plows on these. Okay, he's got a. So this is 2020 F450. They got some heavy duty plows on it. And so that would have been so nice if it didn't snow last night up here. Well, it rained where we were at in Central Valley, but it snowed here. And so none of the trail was cleared. I It was super hard to get up here. Ooh, oh, look at this Razor snowmobile. What is this? These guys must. Uh, I don't know what they do for a living, but they, they got a lot of money. It looks like another ATV, but it looks like they have fun up here. So I was glad I'm able, I'm excited to call them and tell them that I saved the house that sent them a picture. Um, obviously it's like totally destroyed, but there we go, guys. I'm going to try and sneak back down this, uh, and then no other units made it up here. So I'm thinking no, everybody was stuck and nobody can make it up here. So I'm going to hang out here for a bit, and then hopefully somebody comes. 
All right. A unit just made it up here and they actually drove their personal vehicle up. So we have a fire inspection crew, uh, investigator crew. So they're going to figure out the cause and everything, which is good. And then we have another response team that showed up. So I'm going to head back. I actually, I need to get fuel in this sucker. We, I, I, I used my last, uh, my last tank there running the pump to send me water. That thing uses a lot of gas, especially when we were fighting it for about 15 minutes. I ran through about five, six gallons of, uh, of fuel trying to pump water through the hose and stuff. Of course you need that to fight the fire, but we're going back down the same way. Now it is, a, it does seem a bit smoother and we're going to be going downhill too, which is really nice, but it is for sure. After I went down it the first time, it's way easier going the second time. There we go. Only oh, it's crazy. How much just one track helps you out so much. There we go. Nice and smooth. There we go. I still got to climb around this tree here. That was so t I was so scared. Think about it, guys. We were going up that hill, and then we had to quickly turn. I didn't see the tree until I got up over that little crest. So I kind of had to respond quickly, and I couldn't just stop and look at it and then make a decision. Because if I stopped, I would have lost all momentum, probably even slid back down the hill. But honestly, I think, okay, the attic, for sure, like, it's super light and stuff. It didn't help us, like, make it up here. But a lot of times, I used it for braking, and it seemed like it did help like slowed down. anyway i don't know the tires on there are really nice and it seemed like it almost kind of anchored me down in a few situations so it didn't go sliding but i don't know anyway we are about on our home stretch here back down to uh the black mountain town there we go just about to make it back to some at least plowed area here somebody must live there or do something there they actually plowed this out so i want to wish you guys a merry christmas and uh and a happy new year but we we are piecing out here and on our way back and then i'm planning for a new year live stream um last new year we did a like five six hour live stream and you guys absolutely loved it and it was really fun we like counting down to the new year so i might do that again we'll just see how that uh how that plays out but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys all in the next one the toyota land cruiser is a beast I gotta drive all the way back to Central Valley, but quick, we gotta fill up. I'm on E. Gotta fill up here at the gas station. And uh and I'm tired. I need I need some water. A lot of times it's it's so cold up there and like you're around snow that you don't think you need water, but you really do, and then you realize it once like you get in the warm car. So I'm gonna go do that real quick, guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.